Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to work on our chest and tricep muscles. Starting off with the greatest stretch, 5 repetitions on each side. By 5 repetitions, I mean 5 rotations on each side. And by now you must have mastered this stretch. Pretty easy to do. Post completing this one, we sit in a deep squat for a few seconds, maybe a minute. Up to you, as much time permits you. You can also add a 5 minute Cardio, anything, treadmill, elliptical machine, cycling, rowing, whichever you prefer to do. And that should be sufficient enough to get your heartbeat a little bit up for your as a pre-workout routine. Other than that, if you feel you can add other kind of dynamic stretches also, I prefer to just start off with this one. And this is kind of like a compound movement. So stretches all my hips, hamstrings, upper body thoroughly. So I am good with this much and I'm being consistent with this and I've seen slight improvements also. Now to start off with, we're going to start with the flat bench press. I have done two warm up sets with around 10 kilo dumbbells, 15 to 20 repetitions in a controlled manner. And for the working sets, we are going to do three sets, 20 repetitions, again, controlled, full range of motion, bring down your arms as low as possible, feel the stretch in your chest muscle and from there, push up make sure your elbows are slightly tucked inwards and not completely flayed out or beside your shoulders as you can see here just slightly inwards and from there focus on squeezing your chest up so that will help you furthermore you want your chest up and forward so slightly an arch in your lower back will push your chest up a little bit and that's natural your lower back has a natural arch so you can use that to push your chest up a little bit de shrug basically push your shoulders down and then from there you push back up creating that squeeze in your chest muscles go slow and steady increase the weight if you can if not stick to the same weight and get those 20 repetitions without fail and as you can see here my chest turned red by the time i could complete those 60 repetitions now, post completing the flat bench press, we are going to keep challenging our chest. We are going to move on to incline bench press. This one increment increase in the incline level. And from there, we start pushing. Again, the concept will remain same. Full range of motion, controlled repetitions, three sets, 20 repetitions. Go down as low as possible. Feel the stretch in your chest. And as you squeeze up, you want to squeeze the heck out of your chest muscles and create that adduction. And here you can see clearly how I'm able to do that by pushing my arms together. Again, use that natural back arc arch to, you know, create or push your chest up slightly and push your shoulders back, de shrug to move all the adduction through your chest. There will be a slight involvement or more than slight involvement of your friend delts and your tricep muscles and that's absolutely fine it's a compound movement they're supposed to pitch in to help you go through the range of motion so don't try to completely eliminate those muscles those muscles will work they will do their job but focus mostly on the adduction through your chest muscles and you should be good to go and post completing these we can use the same inclined bench to start off with our barbell tricep extensions again three sets 20 repetitions it's quite important to go as far behind as possible and if one thing which I added to these is that once I failed at 20 repetitions I, also, I actually did the regular skull crushers just the bar coming back on your forehead and tried to kill my triceps as much as possible in one exercise itself and it works it works great so you can also go ahead and try that but make sure you take this uh, like you can see me doing in this video take your arms as far behind as possible creating that stretched position for your tricep long head and from there when you try to push the barbell up your muscle has to work really hard to get it high back up and since it's already in a stretched position even at the highest point or the end point they are still challenged in terms of the weight so even a light weight will challenge you try to get all the repetitions done and once if you feel it is not enough you can always finish off with a regular skull crusher and that's a killer way to finish off any exercise basically doing the shortened path and exhausting out entire muscle group as a whole 
make sure you're comfortable because I don't see any reason why you wouldn't be comfortable. It's an absolutely comfortable way to do this particular exercise. Now, post completing these, I move back to the chest exercise again. Now, this time cable crossovers. Luckily, the cable crossover machine is available. If not, you can always use a chest fly machine to do this exercise. Again, some kind of a fly wherein you can have some kind of pull behind and from there create that adduction movement. Remember, chest muscle is all about adduction. The more adduction you do, the more blood you pump there, the more muscle development. So pretty simple exercise. I said the cables just about shoulder height. Made sure the cables are always in line with my elbows, not way above, way below. Always in line. Again, pushing my chest forward to create that adduction. And as you can see, how I'm able to create that adduction pushing my chest muscles both my pec muscles as close as possible squeezing them together cueing to get my elbows together not possible to touch my elbows but the more i try to do that the more squeeze i create in my chest muscle and as i go back i try to control it i don't just drop it back and the cable is always under tension the weights are never resting so i'm constantly working hard to get the adduction going on now you might need a little bit of figuring out the right angle for you so take your time use one set as a warm-up and then get into your working sets post completing those we can use the same cable equipment to start off with our cable tricep extensions a simple behind the head rope attachment cable tricep extensions again training that long head in a stretched position now it's completely stretched and from here when we push up and go down the stretch is not lost so the muscle is constantly working at the same time we are also contracting it so good job there with the exercise now one thing i want you to make sure is that uh, if you're not comfortable doing it standing you can also sit down it's i don't see a reason why you can't sit down and do the same exercise as long as the bench or whatever you're sitting on doesn't hamper the cable's path it should be a free path wherein you can freely move your arms Make sure you get complete extension of your elbows. So you have to push up all the way. Remember, we are pro full range of motion. So push up all the way and come down all the way. Let your triceps feel that stretch in your triceps as you go down. And that's it. We are done with that part of the exercise. Next, we are going to do the cable push downs. Again, single hand. The reason why I switched to single hand is that last time I have done it or previously when I have done it, I felt a lot more... Uh, in terms of range of motion, I felt a lot more availability in terms of I'm able to extend my elbows farther because the rope is not restricting how much I can go back. So doing it single hand helps me. So to save time, what I have done is I haven't taken any breaks. So I've taken a weight which is just enough to exhaust my muscle out at around 20 repetitions. And once I'm done, I simply switch sides and continue doing the push downs. Now, if you're not able to do 20 repetitions, you can also do 10, 10, 10, 10 and in that manner accumulate those 60 reps or whichever way. Even if you're able to do 20 in the first go and then you're only able to do 15 or 12, you can switch your arm and do another 12 repetitions, come back to it. In that manner, accumulate all your 60 repetitions. Pretty easy way to save time because the entire exercise would take roughly about a minute or minute and a half if you just keep going and also you don't occupy the equipment for a long period of time so pretty good don't have to stop anyone from using the machine one thing you have to make sure like in the last exercise make sure uh, you have to go through the entire range of motion so as your forearm just comes parallel to the floor you push down and push down really hard and get the complete extension of your elbows Post completing those, I'm going to finish off with regular, simple body weight push ups, three sets, as many repetitions as possible. Now, by now, your chest and your triceps are fried. So, whatever you can manage, if you're able to get 10 to 15 repetitions, awesome. If you're not able to get any, always remember don't do half push ups, basically knee down push ups. I always like to increase the height at my arms so you can rest yourself on a bench or on a box or on a step up box to increase the height at your chest level and from there do as many push-ups as possible while keeping your body in a straight line that's it we're done for today that was a great and neat short and compact 
uh, workout routine according to me and if you did like the workout and if you had the similar effects like I did please do drop a like in the video and if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel please do subscribe any feedback in the comment section is greatly appreciated now make sure you stretch out the working muscles while we train most of our tri uh, tricep muscle in a stretched position our chest mus uh, was all about abduction so creating a little bit of abduction you know stretching out a muscle throwing our arms far behind far away from the midline of the body creating that stretch and staying there for more 15 to 20 seconds even 30 seconds couple of times getting that blood flowing it's good so and that's it thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next video i hope you had a great workout